Welcome to this new how-to. Hopefully you didn't get this message. And in case you get the, did get this message just like me, I will gonna explain to you how you can fix this error. This error is a little bit weird, right? Because it says, hey, you need to insert the game disc, but what if you bought the digital copy of Flight Simulator 2020? Then you don't have the disc, so there's, I would say, no resolution for this. Uh, thanks to the help of Asobo, uh, I did find some articles and some help from their uh, support, uh, which helped me uh, fixing my issue. Uh, in my case, I even went for, I would say, an additional step, which I will explain later on. So the first step, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your machine is up to date. So for that, you need to go to uh, Windows Update, uh, which I will show you here. And then make sure that it's recently updated. So you can always press a check update just to ensure that uh, it's being updated. Uh, and as you can see here, now it says, hey, I'm up to date. I updated um, pretty recently, so that's all fine. The next thing you need to check is the uh, date and time settings. So you can go to the date and time settings and then when looking at this you need to make sure that the time is set automatically and that the time zone is set correctly and what i mean with correctly is that they need to be set to the uh, same time zone as uh, for the account of which you used to buy a flight simulator uh, 2020 right so if you didn't do that then it will not uh, work the next step is checking if there are some updates using the ms store right so you can get, click on downloads and updates uh, get updates and in most cases it will display a message in a few uh, seconds or maybe a few minutes like in my case hey you're all good you don't need to do anything so prior to closing the app what you need to do is you need to click on the uh, i would say person here you need to click on the uh, email address and then here you can click on sign out it's a little bit gray right so because i'm using the black and white or the black mode or the dark mode uh, so now we're signed out you can see it pretty clear here and we, it requests us to sign in but don't do that and uh, leave the app open or better uh, close it the second thing you need to do is if you have the xbox app installed and you're signed in then sign out right so it says okay hey here i'm it's okay so let me increase the size so in the top right corner you can say sign in or you can say sign out right so let's assume that we're signed in which is the default uh then it's definitely recommended to sign out so i can say let's play and so let me show you how you to do it so you can click on i would say on your avatar and then click sign out that will sign out you from the xbox app and once you've did, done that uh, close the app then we've got the xbox companion app uh, that could be an optional tool which you might have installed it's the same thing as for the xbox app right so if you don't have installed both of the tools then you can skip this tab uh, so we're hitting uh, let's play We're hit close and to sign out from the xbox uh, console companion app you need to click go to settings and there you will find the uh, sign out option again right so click the settings and then hit sign out once you've done that it will bring you to this one which is great next in your search menu search for add and remove programs in the add and remove programs, it could be a very long list depending on how many applications you've got installed. You will see both the uh, console companion app and then click uninstall. And do the same thing for the Xbox app. It will take a little bit longer for the Xbox app, but eventually it will uninstall. So what's critical now is that after you did follow these first few steps, you need to reboot your machine. If you don't do it, it will not work and Flight Simulator will still give you the error message probably. So I will pause the recording for now and once I return, uh, I will show you what you need to do next. And we're back. So 
as just said, you need to reboot before continuing with the next tab. And the next tab is download the Xbox app for Windows 10 PC. You will find it on xbox.com slash enus slash app slash xbox dash app dash four dash windows dash 10. You can find also the uh, URL in the uh, link below the video and also in the uh, description of this video. Uh, there you can download the app. So simply click uh, download. As you can see, I already downloaded it once and then click open. Once you've done that, uh, you need to, of course, accept the license agreement. And then you hit let's go. Take me to the games. Next thing you need to do is make sure that you're signed in, right? In some cases, if you're not signed in, just like me, right? You see here, so I'm not signed in, so I'll press sign in. That's okay. Also make sure that you're signed into the store. So open the store up again. So here we're also signed in, as you can see. Then go back to the Xbox app and click the start button of Flight Simulator and hopefully after that you will be able to play Flight Simulator again. This is where this how-to ends and in this how-to we discussed how to fix the issue where a uh, Flight Simulator is prompting you to uh, put in the game disc which you don't have because you've got bought the dis digital version. Uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments then feel free to uh, post them in the comment box below the video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos then consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time